Hey, what's going on guys? It's Austin here and yesterday I was on the radio and we were talking about just different emerging trends in technology. So of course we covered things like CES and if you don't know that's the Consumer Electronics Show. If you're not familiar with my page, I actually did a video not too long ago, a couple days ago about my top five things at CES 2014. So if you want to check that out, that'll be in the description down below. But um, at CES, one of the main things that we saw were 4K TVs. I mean, we saw other things like wearable technology and the internet of things, uh, basically integrating your home with your life and having everything connected. And the main thing at CES this year definitely was this 4K technology and displays, recorders, and streaming 4K content. And so if you already subscribe to my channel, then most likely you already know what 4K resolution is. But just in case you don't, 4K resolution is basically just four times the amount of pixels that we see in full HD is what we have today, which is your standard 1080p. That has been the standard for quite some time now, and 4K is basically the successor uh, to 1080p or full HD. And they're calling it Ultra HD because I guess it's, it can't really be any more fuller than full, so they called it Ultra to make it sound better. But this 4K resolution definitely has been one of the main conversations in the tech world, definitely in the past few months. So I wanted to give you guys my take on 4K resolution and just why YouTube is not ready for 4K yet. Now please don't get me wrong in this video, I am definitely a tech enthusiast, so I love having these new things like these insane resolutions come out and all these different products supporting it. But um, as of now, YouTube is definitely not ready for 4K resolution, as a lot of people said before, and I this is just my opinion on it, but um, as of now, there aren't many devices that can actually support 4K resolution, so we're definitely seeing a lot of prices go down in these 4K monitors. Dell actually just released a 28-inch monitor uh, that's only $700 rather than the $3,000 most people would pay for a 31.5-inch 4K monitor. But even that's at 30 hertz, and it's still quite expensive for the average consumer. Now, I'm not even really going to get into monitors because that's really not my main focus here, but why I don't think 4K is really necessary or ready for YouTube yet is just because YouTube is definitely going much more into the mobile platform than it is on the desktop platform. Now, if you've even glanced at some of the statistics that have come out recently about 2013, the year that just passed, uh, we're definitely seeing the trend much more towards mobile. Uh, desktop sales have actually been down like 6%, and that's a major drop for the industry because everyone is just pushing towards mobile devices. And as such, YouTube has become much more of a mobile platform than just going on your laptop or going to your desktop PC and consuming the media that creators on YouTube are bringing to you guys. And my main point here really is that yeah, it's great that we're seeing prices really drop on 4K monitors, and I really hope that they do continue to drop, but most people are consuming the media off of YouTube on their mobile devices. If you look at most people's analytics, um, we're seeing that trends are going much more towards people you know, walking around and actually viewing these videos on the go. And phones don't have 4K displays, and I really don't think they will for a long time. Now we're going to see a 2K phone, a phone with a 2K display pretty soon, this year definitely, but um, a 4K resolution we probably won't see anywhere in the near future, at least for a couple years from now. But even if we do see this resolution on the phone, I'm pretty sure that uh, we're not really going to be able to tell the difference between a 2K resolution and a 4K resolution. Now don't get me wrong, I do think that like a 2K resolution is going to look even better than like printed text. But um, I think we're definitely getting to the point where, especially on a mobile platform, you're not really going to see the differences between uh, 2K and 4K. Um, and I, I, I think that that's kind of one of the factors that isn't going to make there be much of a push uh, for 4K content on YouTube as there is on like, as there should be on like, say, TVs, because those are much bigger screens and you can actually definitely see the difference. But again, with all that said, by all means, if you're shooting in 4K content, if you're thinking of shooting in 4K content, uh, definitely feel free to do so because uh, people don't really have to watch on 4K if they can't. Uh, the technology definitely isn't there. As we saw with 1080p, it took a while to get there, so of course it's going to take a while to get to the same standard as 4K. But if you're shooting in 4K, don't feel discouraged, you definitely should be because people can watch it on 1080p, they don't have to watch in 4K. And then when the um, when the devices start coming out, they can actually consume this media in a fast way and we start getting the better streaming options, then you'll already be above the curve and you already have the highest quality content there is on YouTube. 
So that is my little rant on 4K tech on YouTube, but uh, let me know what you guys think of all this stuff in the comments down below. Are you guys gonna be buying any 4K products? Uh, I'm talking about 4K monitors, 4K devices, and just uh, what are your thoughts in general on 4K tech and how it pertains to YouTube or just anything uh, in that matter. So um, if you guys like this video, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys liked it, of course. And uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys are because I'm gonna be bringing out a lot more videos and this way you'll be able to catch all of my latest updates and they'll be right in your subscription box. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Austin and I'll catch you guys in my next video.